Hey, guess what? This week we have Jerry, Barnacle's Nerdgasm. He's not dead. Welcome to Recycle Bin. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Welcome to Recycle Bin episode wow. 10. Is this episode 10? Holy Christ. Uh-oh. I think we made it, it to 10. It's time to shut this shit down. We're done. It's all over. Yeah. June 23rd, 2018. Wow. Uh, Brian? The lovely Brian, you know him, you love him. Hello. And then, of course, everybody, the lovely, the beautiful Jerry Berg, <laughs> aka Barnacles Nerdgasm. Jerry, Some guys. for a second, I thought you were dead. I thought you were dead. A lot of people thought I was dead, and so, and I even thought I was dead at one point. So what are you doing now? You're not. You're not actually gone. That's. I think a lot of people just assume you're gone. You just vanished, but you're not gone. Gone. No, 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 not at all. Uh, what happened was. I just had some mental and physical bullshit and I burned out and I was like, you know what? I want to go do something else. So I went over and started streaming on Twitch instead. And I guess I didn't do a very good job of like notifying my 900,000 some odd subscribers over on YouTube. So my bad. <laughs> I apologize. guys. <laughs> but, yeah, sor- uh, sorry, uh, everybody else. <laughs> right. Right. So I did, I did that for like, uh, you know, probably I've been over there streaming for about six months, but I kind of abandoned YouTube about like two months ago, but I am coming back. That is the goal is to come back. So well, that's always good. I, what, I when, when, when is that happen. though? I don't know. I don't know when 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 I'm not batshit crazy anymore. <laughs> well, I've been, I've been going through some. <laughs> well, you need to, you need to film it. I hear that stuff does really well. Yeah, totally. Oh, there you go. Totally aren't are, aren't, aren't YouTubers the these days really about bad. being truthful and like raw, giving you emotion? Love dude, I am so real, raw. you know. I am so raw. You, it, it, I'm sure you've uh, you've seen little bits and clips of morning coffee. I pretty much take the gloves oh, yeah. off on that show, and I am surprised Twitch hasn't like banned me. Like honestly. <laughs> Well, do you, so, so do you keep the show up like on demand afterwards? Yeah. Yeah. It, the, the VODs are up for uh, 30 days. I don't archive anything. So after the 30 days is up, it's gone. Although I do have a couple of people that download the shows and keep an archive in case I ever want to upload it to YouTube. But, uh, oh, but I don't how, do it. Pers- how nice of them. Or so they can like <laughs> have clips of you to upload for themselves. Do you have that issue well, that's yet? that's fine are, if you want to do that. Are people <laughs> uploading clips of your show and making money off of it like every other podcast? Yeah, actually, I have run into a couple of times now where I found my content uploaded on YouTube. The nice thing about having a large audience that's watching all the time is they usually can report it within a day or two of it going live. And I haven't found any of it getting significant amounts of views, but I still go in and I still I I usually message them first. And then if they don't reply, then I DMCA them. But it doesn't happen nearly as much as it used to. Surprisingly, it happens a lot less now than it did, say, about two years ago was when it was like at its peak when I was my I was growing and I had like six to eight million views a month. It was like everybody was plagiarizing my shit. Dude, t- I couldn't even imagine what you could pull now, though. Like 900,000 subscribers. Oh, Subs yeah. don't matter. A dude. Lot. Subs do not matter. I can tell you right now, there are channels with 200,000 subscribers that are pulling more views a month than I am right now, just because I don't, I'm not actively uploading content. I mean, we are. But if I actively upload it, I will. But what's that? <laughs> oh, we are. <laughs> yeah. No, no. You're, you, you're kicking my ass. Everybody is. Um, but, I bet you I probably you just uploaded. Hey, uh, I'll make you, I'll make you a deal. We're gonna. Oh, I get a deal. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is what we're gonna do. Are you ready, Jerry? We're Let's gonna hear it. we're deal. gonna bring you back, and we're gonna do this whole series, right? Where it's like a make make Jerry better series, and it's gonna be the story of your depression. Um, and we're gonna we have to get you a walker and everything. We got to make it look worse than it actually is, and like I rehab you back to health, and uh, then I get I get half the ad revenue. Nice, nice. Oh, and, uh, you know what? I'll agree to those terms as long as I get a hover round. I've always wanted to hover round. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you missed a big opportunity there to call it Make Jerry Great Again. Oh, uh, yeah, Make Jerry Great could've Again. Been. Could have been. That, that, yeah. that would have been great. We could have got hats and everything and sold them to like two <laughs> Magia. people. It would have been awesome. Magia. Hashtag Magia. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would work. I got some friends in Kentucky that can set up a kiosk for us. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I live in Ohio, dude. There's like massive billboards bigger than houses here for Trump. Oh, I mean, really? make Jerry great again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's it's oh. it's a real thing. Ohio's a big state for the man. Nice, nice. Yeah. yeah here in Washington, not so much. Not not so much, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you guys just secure some sort of like quote unquote law for net neutrality over there? Yes, actually, it's a, we've had it for a while now. But uh, as soon as it was on the radar six months ago, that yeah, this is probably going to happen. We're probably going to lose it. Um, Washington just stepped in and basically took a photocopy of what was already there in Title II and just threw it onto Washington as a part of our state law. So inside of Washington State, you are violating state law if you do anything against net neutrality. I'm which curious is to see what because, happens there because I thought the FCC was like going to make it a point to where the states literally couldn't 
make their own rules. Here's the, here's the beautiful thing about state law, and California is actually a really big offender of this, is technically the states are supposed to defer to federal law. Federal law you know, takes precedent over state law. However, a lot of states don't see it that way, and their local law enforcement won't enforce the federal laws if the state law goes against it. Huh. It's just like the old marijuana laws in California, medical marijuana. It was like the, the DEA was constantly in California trying to bust everybody, but the local state was still issuing license for it and letting everybody open up shop. <laughs> they were like, fuck you, government. We're just going to do what you want. <laughs> well, uh, I'm going to open up a shop that specifically sells marijuana and net neutrality. Do it. Just, do it. I mean, I'm a package deal, own. right? Like for with every ounce, you get a free like 30 days of net neutrality. <laughs> oh, it's buy one, get beautiful. one. Bogo. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so, Couple chat, you blanks. guys get to steer the episode today. You just ask questions, we'll answer it. Uh, the typical thing. Um, there was a question for Jerry earlier from Zach. Oh, yeah. First of all, Brian, hi. I love you. Oh, hi. hi. You, usually every week I tell you, <laughs> I, I ask you what you've yeah. been up to. But actually, Brian and I had a lovely bro night last night where I, I yeah. stayed the night at his house and we had a little sleepover like like, uh, yeah. like bros, like bros do. Ooh, a very nice manly spoon. sleepover. Oh, the big spoon uh, I'm always the big spoon. John likes being spooned, spoon. so yeah. my fiance's <laughs> like in New York, so we had a we had a nice time. Listen, uh, that's no, not I'm fair not to say, anything. Brian. I I only like uh -huh. being little spoon because I'm claustrophobic and I don't want my face in front of any of anything. So I need to be facing outside, and you that's just how it works. Right, and I'm just it's, a giver, so you know it works out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, somebody asked I found, a question. Where is it? Question. Yeah, I don't know what's at. Where'd you go, Alex's uh, question? It's such a good. Question. From Zach. Oh, so, Zach. So, this is from Zach yeah. Talks Tech. Question for Barnacles. What happened on Twitter? Some dude called out tech YouTubers without proof and stuff just blew up. Care to elaborate? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was... Uh, oh, God, what was his name? Cy... Cy... Something. <laughs> Anyways, the Cy guy... I think his name was Cy Shitbird. Cy Shitbird. Right? Yeah. Like that. But uh, some, some dude who was actually was pretty well known in the community. It kind of shocked everybody. Um, because he deals with so many companies, but he decides to just pop out and just accuse every like major tech tuber. Like everybody in his list was like huge. He goes after everybody that went to Computex and basically said, listen, all these guys are charging to go to booths. Like you literally have to pay them to get them to come to your booth, which was a total flat out lie. But the way he presented it is he's like, I have the invoices in front of me and I have the paperwork in front of me to prove it. And I'm blowing this whole thing up. And so all the tech tubers started replying back to him, go, what the fuck are you talking about? Right. And he started getting like really cocky to him. And he's like, oh, I'm going to show, I'm going to show everybody the truth. You're going down. And, and Jay was one of them. And Jay was like, dude, there's no way I'm on any list that you have. Go ahead, you know, show us your evidence. And then it turns out that his buddy was the one that was telling him that he had all the paperwork, never ah, showed him anything. Yikes. And then in the end, oh, wow. never really manifested. Yeah. Yikes. Um, so, yeah, that was that was kind of it's kind of dangerous to throw around allegations like that because it blew up really fast. I mean, it went from his right. original tweet to so many retweets like within a while. I mean, it was like everybody was starting to trash and attack these tech tubers saying, oh, my God, you sell out, you sell out. And it's like they didn't do shit. Well, yeah. So you you just got involved because it was like a shitty thing that, it, that he did. It was a shitty thing. It was a shitty thing. And he was a guy that followed me, too. And, he, and I've talked to him many times before. So I was like, I was straight up disappointed that he was attacking people and about half the people on that list are like personal friends that I know in real life. I, so it was one of those things where it's uh -oh. like, I only got involved because I was like, you know, I don't like that. This guy's uh -oh. just trashing all my friends, especially the ones that helped him. Well, okay. So what I, okay. So this, from my perspective, right, this is just what I saw. Like I, I saw the tweet come through, but the guy was just like, I, I, I don't know. You said he was well known in the community, but like his tweet just in general had like 14 likes. It seemed like, no one would have ever heard of it if every other tech YouTuber didn't like come to defend themselves. But at the same time, there's a fine line where like they're kind of forced to at that point because you got he would have kept True. going. Yeah. True. The the initial tweet didn't get a lot of traction. You're right, but I think when it got the ton of traction was when uh, I'm trying to remember what what it was like. Next, uh, not next. Oh God, I can't remember. One of one of the bigger companies that was at Computex was the one that came forward on the allegations initially. Even before oh, Jay yeah. did, they were like, "Like you can't say this. This isn't what happened." And then he started giving them lip, and then Jay jumped in. It was just basically like a brawl, right? But it all started with one person basically responding to his tweet. Now, if everybody had ignored it, it probably would have just been treated as a troll and one underground. But the fact that he was being so persistent and tagging all those people so that anybody that was watching those people would see it in their feed initially, it, it just it would have blown up one way or another. I mean, those types so, of allegations rarely just like don't get any traction. He's a YouTuber, though, right? That was like the thing. <laughs> 
He's got like 16 <laughs> subscribers, dude. He's oh. like, okay. Oh, okay. Well, you said he was well known in the community. Right <laughs> no, no, no. He's well known in the community and that he runs like a million giveaways and somehow all these companies give him shit. Like if you go look at his feed, the dude literally like I had companies DMing me after I, I, I initially attacked him on Twitter saying, you know, what the fuck are you doing? And a couple companies DM me that, were, that I didn't even know that I was following them or they were following me. And they're like, we've sent shit to this guy. What is this guy <laughs> doing? And I'm like, like, why did you send shit to this guy? That's the first thing I'm thinking of is like, what did this guy say to you? To call There's a you couple out of YouTubers something. that I question that do the same thing that like have get real really no attention, but somehow I get all these brand deals and stuff. And I question it, but I can't say their names on the live stream. You know them though, Jerry. I know, I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Just making sure. Just making sure. I know sure. the same people. There's yeah, like I a don't, false I don't perception <laughs> of like really great business and growth and popularity, yeah. but like the numbers say not that. Yeah, I literally feel like these people like they went to school for marketing and just learned how to write a really good marketing proposal <laughs> and don't back it up with anything. And the companies are just so lazy and have such big budgets. They're just like, whatevs, whatevs. That sounds good. Which <laughs> yeah, whatever me. you say. Yeah, whatever you say. Yeah, and I'm Guys, sure they're like working. This is just YouTube, 2018. Yeah, right. He's like, let's that's, get this out to like 500 million people. But he doesn't tell you that he can only get it to the initial five, and it's just total chance <laughs> that it might get out to the other 500. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> So okay, so you're not doing YouTube lately. Is that is that a side effect? Uh, I I would assume it's two things, a couple things like you really kind of being burnt out, but also YouTube being in like a sort of different shift in direction right now than it used to be. Uh, I don't really agree with what YouTube's doing right now, uh, especially like with CPMs just completely in the toilet and their algorithm making it nearly impossible for anybody that even subscribes to you to see your content anymore. Uh, that pissed me off. That's honestly not the reason why I haven't been publishing videos there. It's all just been, I've just been mentally burned out and I've been dealing with some, uh, physical fatigue. Now I got to get a shot in my ass every week of, te of testosterone. That's, that I get a little hot. prick in my butt. Yeah, it isn't it? That isn't it? My wife hot. likes to stick a little prick <laughs> in my butt every week, but, uh, but I, the testosterone has helped a lot and I've gotten a lot of my energy back, but I've been dealing with a lot of chronic pain issues with my back that have gotten out of control to where the pain medication I've taken is no longer effective. So I have very few options with that. And then recently I started getting like arthritis in my shoulders and shit like stuff that a 38 year old shouldn't have to deal with. And it's just kind of put me into one of those moods where it's like, I'm not the happy go lucky, excited, energetic guy that I used to be. So I'm like, I'm not making videos till I can get that guy back. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. Like, I, yeah, I, I mean, like, but I, I like to think I'm the same cool. way. Like I don't want to, yeah. there are days where I'd rather not be on camera cause I'm not feeling it. And I wish I was the kind of guy that was like, well, you know what? If I don't feel it, I'm not going to get on camera. But like we we've like we've got ad deals booked and we're committed to putting out an episode every day. Plus, if we're being honest, all my job is to do is to get through 30 minutes of recording and then give the show to Brian and he makes it make sense at the end of the day. Lucky son of a bitch. You lucky, know, lucky son of a bitch. I haven't edited anything in a while and it's the greatest thing. <laughs> Burn Burn is not only my best bud, but also the only reason this brand still exists. <laughs> Jerry, <laughs> you know, if you're looking honest. for a full-time editor, you know, I'm looking for work. What is that? So, I'm you looking for footage, I take you up on it, but I have a, I only have a 10 megabit up video connection and I'm shooting in 4K raw. Oh man. I have five. Oh, yeah, all right. I have the highest package around me. Okay. And yeah. I'm dealing, actually, no, they upgraded to 10, but for the longest time I had like 50 down and five up. That's what I got. Oh, so bad. So does he like live with you then? Because you're sure as hell not sending him the video to edit. Yes, I am. No, he it is. takes, it yeah. takes like an hour to send him. What do uh -huh. you What? What quality are you shooting your video at? 1080p. Poop. Poopy. Oh, <laughs> poop quality. Yeah, poopy quality. <laughs> I was going to say, what, uh, an average video that I shoot, and I usually, for my videos, I usually shoot about an uh, hour and a half to two hours of footage total that I edit down to about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on what I'm shooting. And uh, because I just let shit roll, it makes it easier for me to keep everything in line. Yeah. And when I'm done, it's usually about 150 gigs of total data. And oh so God. that's a little bit because I shoot everything, everything in 4K raw on the main camera at 100 megabits a second. Holy uh, and then fuck. Two other cameras, then plus the audio feed that I get from a Zoom. It's, it's not the most efficient way to do things. So, no. but I want the no, highest quality. <laughs> <laughs> Holy I'm, shit. I mean, you, I guess you're getting it. Yeah, there you go. I record maybe Works 30 out. minutes, and I think all together it might be four or five gigs of stuff that I send Brian every day. Yeah, oh, geez, that's, that's, like, right. that's like what I upload to YouTube. That's the final product is, is probably Dude, oh, uh, the final product that we upload is like 300, 400 megabytes. That's it. Yeah. And your video looks good. What the hell codec are you using? H264. We just know bitrate. Really? We just know which one to use, especially since 
the thing, the main thing is I'm just standing there, right? I'm just standing on set. I'm not oh, moving around right. anything crazy. Yep. So yeah. the compression, the compression's extra heavy when you don't have a lot of other stuff moving around. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, you, well, you realize when I'm on camera, I take up a lot more pixels than you do. So <laughs> the compression doesn't work as great with me. <laughs> Listen, uh, I think it might be better if, if you just roll out four pixels of Jerry. Just, you know what? Let's just do it. Atari Jerry. 2600 edition. I'm just going to literally <laughs> just pixelate go. it down to where it's, it's at 64 pixels is the entire grid. And use your imagination. Just like when we were kids in Pitfall, we swear to God that the guy looked like Indiana Jones. He, he doesn't look like Indiana Jones. <laughs> Dude, he, I, I swear he had a hat. He definitely did. Dude, I remember playing pole position when I was a kid and I was like, oh my God, these cars look real. And I'm like, I look at it's it now so and I'm good. like, it's not a car. That is not a car. <laughs> uh, oh God. Uh, people are meant, okay, yes. We uh, What we put on YouTube is always 1080p, 30 frames a second. Like why the fuck yep. would we upload 60 frames a second if I'm just some dude standing there? Sometimes we show articles as B-roll. Like what What do you want out of front page? Yeah. Like, some, people, some people have asked us to make it like 21 by nine ratio. Fucking what? Dude, I would be all the way yeah. over here on the screen. There'd yeah. be nothing in the middle. Like the, for some people, it well, works. That's your for one fan do. that literally has a theater in his basement with like an yeah. anamorphic screen and a two hundred thousand yeah, exactly. dollars. It'd be really cool if John was way over there. Yeah, <laughs> I think you should make yeah. this change for me because I need it personally. John, yeah. so what you're saying, <laughs> if, if I understand correctly, what you're, what you're saying is that we could just replace you with a, like a mannequin because you don't have to move. Yeah. Yeah, and we'll you just, you just the entire episode sixty four kilobytes because it's just a single picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just still perfect. That's a great idea. Less editing, just drag uh, it across the timeline. What, Done. Here's what pisses me off: the more professional that I try to get, the worse I do. Honestly, if you go back and look at the trend of my channel, the shit that I was shooting, just walking around with like one of these guys, like a little uh, little Sony, you know, RX one hundred. You know, just like, hey, guys, uh, look at this. Oh, shit, I'm doing a thing here. I'm doing a thing here. Screw screen capture. I'm just going to set up the camera on a tripod, point at the screen, <laughs> see the timelines and shit. And you go back and look at those videos, like 500,000, 800,000 views. Then you fast forward where I'm using, like, you know, a, a PX, or was it PXW90 or whatever, Sony's new $3,000 fucking camera. Uh -huh. And it shoots in log and all the shit. And it's like editing takes longer. The files are bigger. The camera's way more sophisticated to use. I'm like, why am I doing this to myself? And after you spend <laughs> 10 hours editing the video, you fucking hate it and don't want to put it up anymore. Exactly. That's how, exactly. That's how I've been. Like, okay, so what I hate about us, I mean, I love the audience. Love you guys. But oh, oh, uh, we compete we with our own shit. Like, if we don't upload something we that's not front do. page tech, we lose yep. instantly. Like, the the main show get like twenty twenty five thousand views, but if I work real hard on something, like I I spend extra time throughout the week, like front page tech is out, we record and it's out in three hours. But if I work real hard on something and I'm like really interested in topic, like we did a video about net neutrality, it was like six mm -hmm. times net neutrality was violated because I kept people kept saying the internet was fine. Like why are we complaining about it now? Don't you remember two thousand fifteen? Remember how the internet was shit? Oh, it wasn't because we didn't need net neutrality. Blah 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 blah. So I gave a list of six times where net neutrality was violated by companies. I was really proud of the video. Took my took my time. Actually wrote the script out. Fucking twelve thousand views. Like no one gave a single shit. I don't know if it's because of the topic or because it's not front page tech. Yeah, and if you go look at my video history, honestly, if you look at my top 10 videos, over half of the top 10 videos I've ever done have been me talking head one angle from a camera, maybe doing very minimal B-roll overlay, just talking to the camera about something continuously. Yeah. Oh, man. And I mean, that's why I like the Microsoft you. videos. Those, those always get like a million views. If I just sit there and I'm like, today I'm going to tell you what Microsoft did to you. And it's like 10 minutes later, the video takes <laughs> 20 minutes to shoot, half an hour to edit, and the shit's uploaded to YouTube, it gets a million hits, and then I'm over here you know, niggling around with everything to print on my 3D printers and shit, and then it craps out this thing that I'm like, wow, I got 18 hours of editing of this. And like you said, it gets like 50,000 views, and you're like, you know, I, I just think I'm trying to compete. That You're right. We're competing with ourselves at that point. It, it, yeah. People have their own expectations of what they want you to make, and then when you when you do something that you think is fun, but it's not what they want, then it you it's just it's just awful suffering. <laughs> you cry yourself to yeah, sleep you start listening night. to the loud minority, right? When you listen to oh, the loud yeah. minority, everybody loses. I fuck, but like, you know, everyone else, don't listen to the haters. Don't give them attention. That's very easy to say from a distance if you're not me. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, really? Every time somebody says that, the first thing I think to myself, so shit, why did I think of that? Yeah. That seems like, almost like common sense. Just ignore the haters. Jerry, don't listen to them. The way I phrased it was I was on Twitter and I like quoted a tweet and I was like, that's like saying, hey, I just want you to let this asshole punch you in the face a bunch, but like definitely don't hit him back. That would make you look bad. 
<laughs> I know the way I visualize it in my head, like if it, if it was like the Internet in real life, it's like you're sitting inside of your house and there's a guy literally standing outside your front door going, kill yourself, fat fuck, kill yourself. <laughs> you like, and then every once in a while, another person walks by and says, hey, love what you do. And they just keep on walking. But he's like, fuck you, fat fuck. They just will not leave your porch. And you're like, in some oh, way, so true. Just open the door oh, and strangle the motherfucker, you know? And all your Twitter followers are like, don't listen to it, Jerry. Don't listen. Yeah, don't listen to it. Just put in some earplugs, man. Listen to some fucking Lone Star or something. You'll be fine. <laughs> Lone Star. <laughs> fucking Christ, dude. Br- speaking of Lone Star, this actually has nothing to do with Lone Star, but Brian and I played Guitar Hero for hours last night. <laughs> I was going to say Hero. that, yeah. yeah. Dude, I used to be able oh to sing God. my ass off and nail everything with a perfect score in that game. Well, have you heard of Clone <laughs> Hero? No. Brian, explain it's, Clone Hero. Number one to Jerry, but also the internet deserves this. I'm sure everyone's going to love this. Yeah, they really do. So if you ever if you played Guitar Hero and you loved it, and you're like, why did they stop making Guitar Hero? It was the coolest shit ever. Some peop- some fans recreated Guitar Hero in uh, Unity for free. You can just download like the, uh, the base engine, and then fans have also compiled all the songs from all the games, all the rock band stuff, all that, and it's available for download on like a Google Drive somewhere. It's yeah, insane. Killer. Yeah. Is like have the community like, taking the the yeah, steps and everything? Yeah, community music, or does it automatically make them? No, it's um, it's like step by step. I think it's imported by the fans, like painstakingly okay. accurate, based on like the games and stuff. And there's a bunch of custom stuff too. It's really, really cool. Yeah, so yeah like, like songs those games, that weren't check it out. on the Guitar Hero games that people just added. It's cool. Does it got the vocal track and everything too? No, you know just, what? I don't know. Just From what guitar. I saw, it was just gu- bass guitar, lead guitar, well, uh, keyboard. Piano, yeah, like like the the keyboards for some of the games. I I like singing that shit because I like the most embarrassing (laughs) thing you can do when you play a video game. Like, I I chose Dance 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 Revolution over everything when I was like 290 pounds. (laughs) (laughs) We need to do a live (laughs) guitar guitar hero stream with Jerry as the singer. You got pipes of of an angel, too, apparently. (laughs) Used to until I tore my vocal cords, but it didn't stop me from trying. Now I just sound like a wreck, but I still do it. How the fuck did you tear your vocal cords? Oh, my God, about uh, five, I think it was about five years ago, I went to New York Maker Fair, and after the first day, I lost my voice. So instead of like doing the smart thing and going back to my hotel room and just taking a day off just to relax my vocal cords, I'm like, hey, guys, how's it doing? How's it doing? Still trying to yell because I'm so fucking loud all the time, and it was so loud, I was trying to yell over everybody. By day two, my voice wasn't even coming out. I was just squeaking. I was like, <laughs> you'd think I'd stop and go back and rest. No, I just chug water and keep fucking choking. And people are literally oh, like cringing. Man. They're like, dude, don't talk. Don't talk. I just, hey, can I get an autograph? Don't talk. Don't talk. I mean, they were like getting cringe because I sounded like a fucking like wounded dragon. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> by the end of the trip, by the end of the trip, my my throat was so sore. Like you could put your hand here. It was like as wide as my jowls here. Like it was like I had like a whole nother chin oh, that God. was my throat. And so I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> so then I got home. I didn't talk for two days, just guzzling water, guzzling water. And then I just sounded all fucked up for like a month. Like, I sounded like I smoked 12 pack cigarettes for like a month. Then I went to the doctor and he looks at my throat and he's like, Yeah, you got fucking like rips and nodules and scar tissue like all over your larynx now. Jesus like, Christ, Jerry. Wow. I was like, But I didn't realize that could happen. I was like, Oh, you lose your voice. Big deal. Just rest it and it will come back. I didn't realize that while I was like talking to people, I literally was like ripped vocal cords like in my throat. I didn't know that. Wow. Well, so, well, what happened? So, like, there was a different thing that happened with my voice that I didn't know could happen. Uh, so like puberty, I, I love thing. this. It went right. down too far. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. Are, are you gonna are you gonna talk about the times with the, with times, the gaggies? Yes. Oh no, no, yeah. not even that. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> it won't happen. Jerry on that. Uh, <laughs> so the puberty thing happened, right? Voice changed ish. Uh, yeah, mine did it like sixteen, seventeen. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, how are you now? Like fifty eight. Yeah, something like that. 30, 38, 40. I lost count, man. You, yeah, you keep, you keep, uh, what? You stopped keeping track at one point? The words weren't coming out. I just stopped keeping there. track. There's no, there's, there's no need, man. There's no need. I got, I got a baby face and gray hair. They, people can figure it out. That is, that is one thing that's completely true about you. Your face has never changed, ever. Like, you look like Xander. <laughs> I do. I, I, I should. Did you see the wedding picture that I posted like a couple no. of days ago on Twitter? I literally. Oh, yes, like I I'm, did. Yes, I did see that. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody said I look like, like Edward Cullen, like 12 year old Edward Cullen, because <laughs> I just looked like a vampire. I was so white. Like, you think this is white? Look at me like years yeah, ago. Yeah, you I was were like, whiter. I you Way were whiter. whiter. Yeah. But same face, though. And your teeth. Same face. Like your mouth area, like it looks like it's the same from when you were eight. <laughs> yeah, I don't really have any you age don't lines age. or anything. You it's don't weird. age. Just, Can you grow a beard? Oh, dude, you look so cool with a beard. 
Oh, dude. I, yeah, but it's so hard to grow a beard. Oh, it's I so miss, hard. I miss your uh, your pedo stash. For My pedo November. stash. Well, hey, wait for yeah. wait for November, man. Every, every <laughs> November, thirty days. By the end, I look like I should be driving Vance's free candy on the side. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> the doctor told me why I look young, though. When they found out that I had super low testosterone, he's like, he's like, have you always been like heavy your whole life? I was like, yeah, I mean, I was always like 250, 300, somewhere in between there uh, for most of my adult life. And he's like, well, when you get heavier, your test, you don't produce enough testosterone. It's based on your, your amount of blood, basically. Mm-hmm. So he oh, said wow. that because I was so heavy that I wasn't creating enough testosterone and testosterone actually ages you faster. It's like as you get older, your testosterone starts to decrease and decrease and decrease as you age and you age at an accelerated rate. Well, since I never had a lot of testosterone to begin with, I didn't grow a lot of facial hair, didn't grow a lot of body hair, literally didn't go through puberty till I was like 14. I mean, it was ridiculous, dude. So does this so, mean you, you get to live to like 120? <laughs> not at 300 pounds, dude. I'll be lucky to live another five years. <laughs> <laughs> that's really, that's really I'm fucking the sad that you, the way you said that. <laughs> but okay, <Yeah. laughs> but it, okay. So let's real. say, let's say you know, uh, make Jerry great again. I come over, I rehab you back to health, and you lose two hundred pounds, and you're fucking jacked. Uh, do you then, because you like prolonged your aging, does do you get to live longer now, or is that just a physical thing? It's just, I think it's just physical attributes. But but he uh, did say that all my ki- like my liver and kidney function and everything is that of a younger man. Like so so I guess I would live longer technically. He even said my heart health was really good, which I was like, dude, like a cheat how code. many fatties do you know that have a good heart? Like what what am I doing right? I need to figure out what it is. Uh, <laughs> people keep asking about Instagram TV. So uh, I I pretty much shared my thoughts on IGTV. Um, <laughs> I I think it's, it's dumb. A, you think okay. Interesting. Why do you think it's dumb? I think it's dumb. I'm with I you, think it's dumb. I think it's absolutely dumb, and Shut I'll tell up, you why. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why it's done. <laughs> Brian might agree with me on this, because every single piece of media that we consume as human beings is in a certain aspect ratio, and it doesn't hurt you to turn your Agreed. goddamn phone sideways. So Agreed. when you restrict the media to just one aspect ratio that only works on a limited number of mobile devices without altering the aspect ratio, that just doesn't make sense to me. Do you think it would have worked though if it was horizontal? Yes. You do. Yes. My question would have just been like, why? I feel like anyone that makes anything new has to have something fucky about it for people to even pay attention. Gimmicky. Yeah. I mean, I do You're agree right. with the point that yeah, if it, if it, if it has something that's truly unique, but I don't really consider this truly unique. Everybody already fucking forgets to put their phone on the side ninety times out of a hundred when they're shooting a video, so I can see yeah. them capitalizing on that. But I, I laughed at Vine though. That would drive me nuts. It would drive me nuts. You did. I laughed at Vine when it was just square. I was like, this isn't gonna this is never gonna go anywhere. And now like I I wish that I wouldn't have taken Vine for granted when it did exist. I think it was a really great creative platform that just didn't make it because Twitter didn't well, have enough resources to sustain. Vine had Vine had creative constrictions being the seven second time limit. Instagram yeah, TV yeah. is just fuck it, make YouTube videos. Oh, but you just can't have it can be you know, <laughs> yeah, they just flip why? They literally created a platform for dumb people that don't know how to turn their phone sideways and forget like you know the people that pull yeah. their phone real quick hey, recording this holding it this way that's like that's <laughs> who they designed that for the entire I platform mean, is just for the yeah people. as long as it's mobile first i get it i get the whole vertical video thing because that's how we hold our phones if it was on anything else then i would laugh at the vertical video thing like if i had to watch a vertical video on youtube on my desktop it would be the worst thing ever but I, I, I sort of get it. The only thing that I don't get is that creators are uploading their same shit that they upload to YouTube and just cropping it and putting it on IGTV. That's where that's, people have to choose. And they're gross. going to choose YouTube every yeah. time. Right. Right. No, and, and I do see some situations where vertical video is better. Like, for instance, uh, selfie porn, because you can get the whole boobs in there and everything yeah. in the vertical orientation. When you turn it this way, you miss a bunch. So, right. so I totally get it for that. But, <laughs> True. you know. So, so like if Pornhub was doing it, I'd totally be on board. But the fact that Instagram's <laughs> doing it with all the restrictions, I'm like, nah, not so much. And like, th- Jerry, I, email I, them now. <laughs> I'm gonna too. Dude, yeah. I don't have to email, man. My brother owns Pornhub. Don't worry, I'll just call him up. Be like, hey, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, well, all those vertical okay. videos that are coming in that are fucking with your algorithm. Yeah, I know what you can do with them. Genius. The, <laughs> the uh, so IGTV is not a YouTube competitor. It's not. It, it, no. As much as they want it to be, and they kept saying it on stage, and as much as the articles are like, Instagram's coming for the throat of YouTube. Fuck off. No, Look they're out, not. YouTube. Like, <laughs> You're to be trouble. fair, nobody is, right? Nobody, nobody can compete nobody with is. YouTube. It's, it's no. own, like, pl- like, universe. Nothing is and, ever going to come close to touching it. And, to, and people are like, oh, just make, a, just make a competitor. Just make a better one. Fucking YouTube allows you to upload all this video for free. 
Do you fucking know how much money it takes to sustain that at all? And yes, they yeah, they generate network. money, and that's right. That's a whole other thing about how creators feel entitled, like specifically smaller ones that are like, "Why'd well, you turn off monetization?" Blah 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 blah. I can't make any money, and then they 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 don't make what like twenty bucks a month that they might have made. There's just like <laughs> you know what you would have paid to host that video to twelve thousand people. I know, like if I know, yourself? fucking like yeah. you you you're pissed off because you're not getting 20, 20 bucks a month, but here you have the second largest website on the internet, the best in terms of like search and discovery. You have access to all right. the people. The people are here. And literally owned to, by the world's biggest search engine. Like literally yeah. the world's biggest search engine owns that platform too. So nobody's going to yeah. compete. Ever. It, it, yeah. Well, even if, and I said this on ask FPT today, which uh, just went out right before this. So a lot of you missed it, but I feel like even if there was a company that came out of nowhere, right. And like competed with YouTube, if it was even remotely good enough to convince creators to leave that platform and go over to, to leave YouTube and go to that platform, then mm -hmm. The same people, the same creators would go to that platform, the same audience would go to that platform, and then the same advertisers would go to that platform, and then that would have all the same problems YouTube has. Exactly. What was the company that tried to compete with YouTube? The one that was Vidme. paying all the creators to come over? Vidme? What was it? Vidme? Vidme? Was it? No, no, it wasn't Vidme. It was the, uh, one, that, the one that died like a few months ago? Yeah. Yeah, Vidme. They tried Vid. to like migrate me. people over? Yeah, the one that, that like paid, paid like Linus and a bunch of other people oh, a Vessel. ton of money to come over. Vessel. Yeah, there you go, you. Vessel. So, yeah. so Vessel had a pretty good interface, okay, looked pretty sharp, had awesome transcoding options, all this stuff, and they even paid creators to come over and be exclusive on their platform, like like top 5% creators on YouTube, paid them huge amounts of money. They even offered me $73,000 to be exclusive with them for a year just to oh, delay shit. my videos to YouTube one week. And I told them, fuck off, because at that time I didn't care. I was working. I'm not making off. videos. <laughs> Joke's on you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Oh, today I'd take the deal. Today I'd be like, yeah, sure, I'll upload my shit when I make it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but look, they even died, right? They even died, and they were paying these like top yeah. tier creators to come over their platform to lure other people over, and they still failed. So I yeah. look at it very much the same way as like Mixer and live streaming, right? Mixer used to be Beam, then Microsoft bought them, pumped a ton of money into them because let's be honest, Microsoft has unlimited budget, pretty much, right? I mean, they're 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 one yeah. step behind Apple as far as being you know a trillion dollar company. And so now you've got Microsoft running this thing. They put all these cool features and shit that Twitch could only dream of having. How many people know that Mixer even exists today? Yeah, my, not, not a lot. Not. Everybody still is on yeah. Twitch is still considered like the live streaming king platform that everybody streams right. on is on Twitch. Yet Mixer is arguably the better platform, more money, more transcoding options, more API options to integrate with stuff, uh, more chat stuff, zero delay. Like like literally this, the delay to the video is milliseconds, not second milliseconds. And yet yeah. nobody really is migrating over there because there's not a big enough fan base and audience and tell it. And it's one of those things where it's like developers aren't going to make games for platforms that aren't popular. That's why you don't see a lot of shit on Linux. You know, you see more stuff on Linux now, but not nearly as much as on Windows or yeah. even OS 10. So I mean, we saw right. the same thing with what fucking stream me stream dot me came out and like everything. They, yeah, they like brought up all the people, the, the streamers that had actually gotten banned on Twitch and were like, come to stream me. And they were sponsored and paid. <laughs> and then Twitch unbanned them one day and they all fucking left. <laughs> fucking great. That's what I, that's that's what I love. That's the problem. That's the problem. Yeah. And YouTube's doing the same thing to Twitch now. If you notice, YouTube has been stealing or poaching features from Twitch verbatim for streaming. Oh, of course. Like the subscription thing. They, they stole the, oh, what's the, what's the newest feature. There's like a new, new feature that they just pulled. Oh, premieres. So now you can take your YouTube videos and actually like stream them and talk and chat while you're playing them live oh, yep. to your audience. Yeah. So, so they're basically just going over and poaching all the Twitch features, trying to get people to come over and live stream on YouTube because they're like, oh, you're already on YouTube. Why don't we just retain these people? Because they notice so many people are going to Twitch. And did you see what they did to Linus? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They actually, yeah, they, they, yeah, yeah, they they actually gave him a strike, right? This channel for just making a video saying, yeah. go watch my shit on Twitch. And how long have people done that? People have done that forever. Forever. Yeah, years, so, so years literally years YouTube is point. now getting scared. You can tell that they're legitimately scared that they're going to lose the live streaming battle with Twitch. So now they're like going crazy. And that's on. fucked up. Like, that's just a bad look in general. Oh, hugely. Yeah. And, but Google doesn't care about image. Google's, Google's they, they, they don't have to. They don't have to. What's no. going to happen? Well, I'll no, be pissed Google's for a second. Yeah, what are you going to do? Stop using YouTube. email, your free email account. Like, you're not. You're just not. <laughs> YouTube ahead, also man. has the superpower of being completely household. Like it's getting to the point where for a couple of years, like someone's like, "Oh, what do you do?" I'm 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 a YouTuber, whatever, and they're like, "What is that?" <laughs> now, like every suburban mom, it's like, "Oh, you make videos," and blah, blah, blah. like everyone knows where YouTube is. It, it's to the point yeah. where 
if there was another platform, like let's say YouTube died tomorrow and some other platform took over, people would be like, oh, I just make YouTube videos, but it's not YouTube. It's like the Kleenex thing. Not everybody it's buys like Kleenex, but it teaches you a fucking Kleenex. You don't necessarily Kleenex. mean Google. But you say you just look it up. Something. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Look right. it up. That means look, like, like, go Google it. means go look in the fucking Webster's Dictionary. It yeah. doesn't matter where. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so, okay, so I, this, I think this is a good question for us to ask Jerry. So people are asking some, well, people, one person and other people like that have asked, Next. Have asked uh, FPT Twitch streaming question mark. Uh, did I say FTP? Did I just do that? Did I say our fucking I name wrong? I don't actually listen to you talk. I hope I, I said know. FPT because that would be the only time in my life and I will cut off one of my yeah, fingers to punish myself. Uh, so we're asking Jerry this. Yeah. So about, like, what he my, the, the way I think my mentality here is uh, I would love to be on another platform. I would love to just just build up another platform and stream there too. Uh, but what my even when people ask me for advice, I always say like, it just depends on where your audience is most invested. Like our audience is most invested on, with us on YouTube, so there's no reason yep, uh-huh. for us to go to Twitch, which is why we stream on YouTube. Is it beneficial though to like take a little bit of, of uh, awful heat at first, like because it's going to be hard to notify everybody? They're not going to care, and we'll have obviously less of an audience on Twitch. Is it worth trying to build, or should oh, we just absolutely. keep streaming on YouTube? No, no, no. I, absolutely. It's worth moving over. And I'll give you a couple of really good reasons to move over right now. I have if I stream on YouTube, just, just from a financial standpoint, this is purely putting on my business cap. I make more money now on Twitch streaming five days a week, just in the mornings than I do on YouTube by a lot. But what With is doing all of that? my videos, all my residuals, everything. What is do- yeah, what, what is the monetization like- path on there? So, so oh, there's multiple. More. That's what makes it so great. It's like you can do direct PayPal. They allow that. They have a mechanic for you to do that. They That's have what I fuck, that would be great because I really love cool. I love the yeah. super chats here, but like I don't know when the fuck we see them. Like it comes and in ad revenue, like don't they? It's yeah. like I think they take like fifty percent of the super chat, so that kind of like defeats the purpose. If somebody comes in and drops a big like fifty dollar tip one time or whatever, they're taking half of that some bitch. And it comes in what ad sense a month later. Yeah. What is the Twitch split with? Because so do do you get one hundred percent donations and then like. I get hundred percent of the donations minus PayPal fees, which are really low if you uh-huh. if you're a business. Um, number two, you get the bits, which they just get from watching ads that they're going to push on people anyways on the platform. Right, right. So they get bits for those ads, then they can give you those bits because the bits aren't good for anything to them. But if they give you the bits, then Twitch will give you a penny for each bit. And I've yeah, had yeah, shows yeah. before where I've gotten two hundred, you know, like two hundred thousand bits or something ridiculous, or twenty thousand. Yeah, yeah. no, two hundred thousand bits. So. So, you know, it's that adds up really quick. Then on top of that, you can have subscriptions, which if you're a partner is a 70-30 split. If you're an affiliate, I think it's 50-50. Okay. So you get that too. So you have the subscriptions on top of that. And then uh, other avenues are they don't care if you advertise your Patreons. They don't care if you redirect other platforms and stuff for support. They even have API They're integrations. I am something completely yeah. external. They don't care. And YouTube does, unfortunately, because YouTube wants to get their 50% cut of every single thing that comes through. And YouTube doesn't give you, like, they'll give you a cut of the advertisement if somebody watches it, but it's going to be a fraction of a cent. Some of the ads that are served on Twitch will give somebody 25 bits for watching a single ad, which is a quarter. Wow. And they're going to give that to you. Like, they see that ad during the show. They're like, oh, shit, I don't need this 25 yeah. bits. I want to you know, get a pop-up on the screen or whatever, so I'm just going to give you the 25 bits. So, so there's way many, way more paths for monetization. So doing a single stream over on Twitch... I've even even having 500 live viewers versus on YouTube having two to three thousand. I've always made more on the Twitch platform just from a purely monetary perspective. But yeah. the other reason to do it is because Twitch actually cares about their streamers. When I partner or affiliate, I have my own partner manager, unlike YouTube's partner manager that ignores you and might gets back, get to you like once every week or two. and might talk Dude, to you once a year for 30 minutes. My partner we manager. Don't, we don't have like, 100,000 um, subscribers, which is what's required to get a partner yep. manager, but we have one and they're fucking worthless. Yeah, they're Julie. absolutely worth it. And they, they don't even know how the system works. That's what pisses me off the most about it. Is I've had four or five different partner managers on YouTube. And at one point, I was in the 1% bucket when I was growing really, really fast on YouTube. I, yeah. I For a brief moment, I was in the 1% bucket. So they gave me their premier program, which is a one-on-one where I can literally like, call this guy on the phone. One, he never answers. Two, it always goes to voicemail. He never called me back. And I'd get a reply every week, and he'd be like, oh, I'm going to look into this and get back to you. And then nothing. Then I'd ping a week later, two weeks later. And yeah. then like maybe two months later, I'd get something that's like, oh, that guy left the company. I'm taking over for him. What, what, you know, what were your questions? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah like, can you tell me your whole life story in five minutes, please? Exactly, exactly. Exactly. So on Twitch, it's way different. On Twitch, I can contact my partner manager through DM on Twitter. I can contact him through the messaging system on Twitch. I've never had to wait more than 24 hours to get a response, and the response has always been like them right on it. Like I had a guy threaten my life once in a stream. It happens, it happens <laughs> actually 
fairly frequently. But uh, he came and does it. I just click on it. I say report it to Twitch. Within an hour, the account is always deleted. On YouTube, I, mean, I report people. Awesome. It's like, I'm going to come over and like, rape your son and kill your wife in front of you. And it's like, <laughs> you know, like this is not in violation of our terms of service. So we have, just a, we have a contact like that on Twitter that like literally if I have any problems, like there was just... There was one asshole that, like, a racist asshole that was just, like, causing a bunch of issues, not even with me directly, but just with, like, people in my community that I care about, and it was just, like, it was it was horseshit, and it was, like, actual harassment, and I, didn't, and I just reached out to the, the contact, it was like, hey, this person exists, and they're shitty, and literally five minutes later, they were like, okay, gone, gone, just gone. Yeah, it was YouTube great. and Facebook, not the same experience. Facebook actually took a screenshot of a guy who literally sent me a picture of my son. He DM'd me a picture of my son that he photoshopped with oh X's in his God. eyes. It said, I'm going to murder your son in front of you. You're never going to see it coming. I'm like, holy shit. So I report it and I, it, and I get the little thing back from YouTube. It's like, oh, we take this very seriously. These bullying claims. And then another uh, another day later, I get a thing back. It's like, oh, we have manually reviewed this. And it is not in violation of the term service. We recommend that you block this person. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, are you shitting what? me? <clears throat> like, and this has happened more than one time. I've actually lashed out about it uh, quite a few times. And I just gave you up should. because they just I wasn't getting any ground with them. So I was like, screw it. You know what? Fuck you, Facebook. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I'm sure. just like, until Facebook fixes the discoverability issue there and just like the overall engagement issue, like where, oh, I post something and no one sees anything unless I get $5 to boost it, I, yeah. I'm i not interested. I'm just like, it's it's just, it's they not breed worth my time at that point. It, that's the other thing I don't like is their algorithm yeah. on Facebook is all about putting negative shit in front of you. Like I can go to any other social media platform and get a 50, 50 kind of thing between the good and the bad. Every time I go and read my newsfeed on Facebook, it's all Trump posts because they know that that's the thing I respond to the most, like on my personal yeah. Facebook, because I'm just pissed off. And so now because I've done that a couple of times, their algorithms like, Oh, we got him now. We, <laughs> we know what he's going to respond to. So let's just make sure that there's no more cat videos. You know, it's just, everything's just got to be like the most visceral shit. And it was getting to the point where literally every post in my feed was just like, you have to click this because it's got, you know, violence or something. And you have to click this. to yeah. You know, I'm like, why is it everything in my news feed is somebody being decapitated in Israel? Like, I don't want to see this. <laughs> like, stop it. Oh, shit. it. I, I see those. I see those little violent. Like, you, you must confirm or like agree to this to see the video. I'm like, <laughs> well, this is going to be great. I'm excited yeah, now. What you're about to watch what is, is somebody being like decapitated with like a, a, a spork over the course of an hour and a half. <laughs> By the but way, at this least is personally right. curated to you by Mark Zuckerberg himself. <laughs> exactly. Thank you, Mark. You really know me, man. <laughs> the uh, shit they get away with showing. And, and plus, the other thing I don't like about Facebook is that they promote uh, content theft. Hugely promote content oh, theft. Oh, like, yeah. Uh, Everything from this YouTube. This guy named SoFlo Antonio. You can even go find him oh, on Facebook. So flow. Go, go troll that fucker. It's SoFlo. And all he does, and he sold it, he sold it. It's not even SoFlo Antonio anyway. He sold it to a marketing company a long time ago. But all they do is take the top 1% of YouTube videos and the top 1% of Vine and the top 1% of, not Vine, but what's the uh, Instagram now? Uh, they take the top 1% mm -hmm. of all those videos that are performing. They just download them and upload them to their own page. Don't link them, upload them directly to their page. And they just put like passages underneath them or a little piece of text over the top. It's like, what do you think is going to happen next? Oh my God, I can't believe yeah. that happened. It's like the reply girls yeah. all over again. But then they get tens of millions of views. They're the oh, top man, they're channel on Facebook, and they've never deleted any content off wow. of it. Jern, uh, Jern, how do you have a Twitter contact like that, but you're still not verified? And they're not the same department. And second of all, I don't know why I can't get verified. They, th there was literally one day where I think two hours they verified me and took it away. So I don't know if I said something where I <laughs> that I shouldn't have. I don't know. You what woke happened. up, right? Yeah. You like, woke I sure up, love I Twitter, like, and then like three tweets later, you're like, "Fuck Twitter," and they're like, "Oh, we're yeah. taking that back." <laughs> <laughs> or just like, like Lenovo. Dude, oh, it's dude. magic. I tried to get verified for three years. Nothing happened. Then I just gave up and stopped fucking trying. And then a friend of a friend sent an email and that email went to another email. And then they came back and said, oh, we don't we don't do that anymore. Where We just give people verified status. There has to be a reason for it or whatever. And the next thing you know, I was just verified. And I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, happened? I can think I of a few know. thousand reasons. Thanks, Twitter. Like, yeah, I remember exactly. you at the time. I remember you at the time were like, it, you like started. You just gave up and started trolling them. And like the, it, they were almost peer pressured into it. I was, I was, I, I, I was seriously in give zero fucks mode at that point because people were creating like accounts uh, mimicking me. There was like, there's like 20 or 30 different Barnacles accounts at one point and there's parody accounts and all this shit. And I'm like, guys, does, if this doesn't qualify me for verified, I don't was. And then people were like, I messaged you. Why didn't you get my message? Oh, you messaged Barnacles, not Barnacles, even though they were using my avatar. <laughs> Barnacle. God damn it. <laughs> well, how the, your name is, okay. What, how do you fucking spell this? Barnacles. <laughs> you had to look at it. Barnacles. It, 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 everybody pronounced it either barnacles or bar barnacules, 
but it's it's <laughs> literally Hercules. Barnacle and Hercules cut in half and smashed together. I didn't follow any kind of English phonetics. I was like, if Prince did you just guess? Can a fucking symbol. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> so <laughs> is that like an old call sign from like like you know like old like IRC chat rooms or something? No, no. What happened was I had multiple uh, nicknames on the internet all the way from back in the Eskimo, Eskimo North EF net, you know, IRC days. Um, I had dead meat and then everybody was dead meat after that. And then I changed it to dead Nick because it was a dead nickname because everybody stole it. And then everybody uh, became dead. Nick. Yeah. And I was like, fuck this. And I was like, <laughs> I need a name that like nobody else is ever going to take. And then my buddy one day calls me on the phone and says, dude, you're late. You were supposed to be over here an hour ago. And he wakes me up from a dead sleep. And I'm like, oh, shit. OK, hold on. I got to jump in the shower and wash the barnacles off. It was a saying I used to do back when I was, you know, oh. I used to be in the crack yeah, leave me alone. Anyways, I'm like, dude, I got to clean the barnacles <laughs> off. And he's like, okay, you do that, Barnacles, and then he hangs up the phone, and I was like, Barnacles? Okay, that's a pretty good nickname, and then I just went from there. So do you pay that guy royalties every month now? Zero, absolutely <laughs> zero. I think I bought him lunch once on accident. Like, I mean... <laughs> you're, you're welcome, Eric. Thank you. you I have, hope you're watching, do, Eric. Do you have Do you have any uh, any tattoos of it? Because we had, we had Andrew Zarian on and oh God. it's not a tramp stamp, but he does have his old. Was it AIM, John? Yeah. What it, is it? It was something that doesn't matter anymore. I want to almost say like MSN Messenger or something terrible. Something like, he has like like an old username tattooed on his back. So we were, <laughs> I have if, you, if you're following I, the trend. I am not a big fan of tattoos. I'm not a big fan of piercings. Yeah? I had one ear piercing at one point. I didn't even want it. I just got it because I had like a hardcore crush on this girl. And she's like, you should get an earring. And I got an earring. And then like a week later, she like stopped <laughs> talking to me. And I was like, God damn it. Uh, oh, call, of, call of Sean. I'm going to help the moderators out. He's asking about how can you be a moderator. He keeps asking, and they keep telling him to stop it. Uh, yeah, you're, that's not how you do it. And he said, "I've been subscribed and watching videos since September." Cool. That doesn't make you moderator. The best way Sorry. to become a moderator, honestly, is just to DDoS attack the channel and then make that like a condition of, Dude, of it, get yeah. stopping the DDoS attack. You exactly. motherfucker! <laughs> you gotta you you start the fire. And then you kick the fire out and say, "Look what I did!" There I you go. It. There you go, man. That's that. That's, I, yeah. I ended up having to go get a whole like cloud flare network solution to like stop people from DDoS attacking me because I kept. Just, yeah, uh, you want to know who no, doesn't have that? Like, on, and bro. you just like. <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, open I don't have that, and you just gave everybody an invitation. Protection. Dude, do you go bareback <laughs> when you when you find a girl to bar, dude? No, or a guy? I mean, sorry, a guy to bar. Sorry, I wasn't sensitive to your <laughs> your sexual orientation, but uh, I'm just saying. Do you do, I, you, we, do we that? We spooned one time. It doesn't define me. Okay. <laughs> doesn't define me. It's okay, Brian. I was just filling out the waters to see if he'd be, you know, open to some spooning with other men. If I ever oh, see yeah. him, John doesn't oh, identify shit. as a little spoon. He is. He is kind of a cuddly looking dude, though. Like I'm you a, cl I'm a know, closet I, I don't little spoon myself. I believe everybody's a little gay. Like I, I believe that I am. I am oh, at yeah. least five percent gay. At least five percent. Like I'm it's solid a spectrum. Five. It's yeah. a spectrum, exactly. So I believe I'm 5%. Yeah. So that 5%, I think John fits into that 5%. I think he's got that baby face, and he's got just enough of a feminine kind of look to him that I think I, he'd fall into that 5% bucket for me. Maybe I mean, there's a few, the there's sack a few back, people, Maybe yeah. make it work. <laughs> uh, what'd you say, Brian? I said the tuck the sack back, make it work. Just tuck it's it a back, quote from 40-year-old from Bill? Uh, 40 -year -old Is that the Buffalo Virgil. Bill where you just you kind of tuck up between your legs and do the thing in front of the beer? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm oh, Jay, we're going to get blocked. We're going to get banned. You can't do yeah. that stuff. <laughs> now we're going to have to go to Twitch. Just playing Goodbye Horses. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Jerry, do you remember back in the day when we did our like 200th or 300th episode of Front Page Tech, you sent in a clip of like congratulating us and you... Yeah. What the fuck is that thing called? You lift up your shirt and... Oh, truffle, truffle shuffle. shuffle. Yeah, you, yeah, 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 yeah. There's a clip of that somewhere. Dude, oh, I man, truffle shuffle probably a hundred times. I even, I even the only strike I ever got on Twitch was for doing the truffle shuffle, and then they actually <laughs> ruled that it is now legal for me to do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> meetings over it. Good question from Zach. They said it again. can't be sexual. They said it's not sexual. The truffle shuffle was done by a kid in a, in a movie called The Goonies. Therefore, it is not sexual. And they were like, okay, well, we that, can't argue with that. It doesn't look one. sexual at all, though. That's the thing. Like, there's nothing that makes Dude, me you go, yeah. Into it. You know, I guarantee you there's at least on one French kid, And it's like, holy shit. It depends like, he on puts the spectrum where you are. <laughs> <laughs> the truffle spectrum. Uh, the spectrum. Okay, this is great because none of us went. Uh, question for yeah. the show. Let's talk about the clusterfuck that is VidCon. Is there a reason you guys didn't go? Is it more a fan event or or versus business? Uh, so my personal opinion is I've, I've been to VidCon. Uh, it's great-ish if you are a fan. If you're like, uh, if let's say another spectrum, an age spectrum from like anywhere between 8 and 14, it's really great for you. 
If you are a creator, it is a fucking hellhole. It's very bad. Why is that? Well, unless your core audience is that age bracket, right? Like, and if you're going your with the intent. Yeah. So, VidCon treats meetups. creators like dog shit. Just real bad. Oh, real? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Um, and, like, most of the most of the bigger creators, we could say, that, like, you would think deserve to be at VidCon aren't invited if they're not advertiser-friendly. And all the ones that were really relevant in 2011, your Tyler Oakleys and stuff, who are, you, you know, they're yeah. still great. They, those are the ones invited. And there's nothing against them being invited, but I also think if you're going to invite them, you should invite the, the people that are relevant right now. Uh, of course, a lot. Eliza Koshy is really, really great. I, I stumbled upon her recently, really like her stuff. She's there. There's a bunch of stuff that, there's a bunch of people that deserve to be there. My issue is there's there's more creators that you'll never, ever see there. Your H3, H3, your iDubs, that sort of stuff. And, yeah. and so there's like, the bottom floor is great, like if you're a fan, because like, Th that's your one opportunity, right? That's your one opportunity throughout the year to meet or potentially meet or see your favorite creator at least in the same room. Uh, for creators like us, I think there's like a, there's like a gateway. When I was when we were when I went to VidCon, we maybe had nineteen thousand subscribers, maybe less, maybe thirteen thousand. I don't even know. Um, and it was great for me because like there was no one to help me open that door, so I had to be in person to physically meet people and network with people. Like, I met a few people that way. I met Roberta sure. Blake that way, and that's how we're friends now. But now there's, like, a point where after you're a certain size and you have, like, enough pool and credibility to your name, you don't need to be physically there at an event, and you could reach out to your favorite people anyway or at least, like, just chat back and forth, and there's no problem with that. Sure. The creator stuff at VidCon is like not worth it. Like the industry stuff and the panels is not great for for a creator. I'm sure it's great for a fan though. But it's like it's bought by Viacom now, and it's 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 like the, I tweeted. I think did, did you see the tweet, Jerry? I tweeted a video I of I there was like a Famebit dance party outside, and it was just like grown creators dancing with little children that were twerking, and it was just the worst thing. Wow, some thing. Miley Cyrus level shit right there. Yeah. All right. It was oh, bad. Man. You're just going for uh, the cringe views, apparently. Brian, you want to go to VidCon? Uh, you know, you really talked it up. Uh, yeah. Tell you what, I'm going to give you a rain check. I've heard some horror stories from our friend Painfully Honest Tech. Yeah, I don't think it's Jason a good place. It is a silly place. Let us not go I've there. heard some bad stories. I've definitely heard some bad stories. Like, I heard that... Uh, uh, what was it? One year, I think uh, they had what's her name? Anita Sarkeesian was there, and she was like, "Yeah, trolling the <laughs> shit out of guys in her audience and having them like yeah. forcibly remove them and like trolling them and calling them garbage and shit." Yeah, and they like left her alone and like fucked over the people that were actually being nice in the audience. So I was like, "That's pretty." That's pr and I've heard more stories like that. I've heard lots of stories of creators literally being yeah. run off for various different reasons that they wouldn't be from any other convention. I mean, I went to TwitchCon. I like TwitchCon. Nobody gave me any shit. It was just free run of the mill, everybody in the pool. And and it was kind of a small venue by comparison. And I liked mm -hmm. it. I'd go to TwitchCon again. But well, like, the only reason I'd go to VidCon is to meet people that I knew was there, like a lot of my friends that I already know, just as a rallying point. That's the only reason I yeah. wanted to go. And like, so I'd say in terms of like as a creator, when I went to VidCon, I got recognized by, like, three people. And there's, like, everyone that loves YouTube is there. Like, that's the demographic. That's where you're going to get seen. Yeah. I, I went to Vlogger, Vlogger Fair, and every year, a much smaller event, I get recognized maybe 20 times. It's a much smaller right. event. I don't know what the difference is there. I think it's the age demographic difference is most likely my guess. The only thing about VidCon that's cool for children, creators... Bro. Yeah, I know. I got to try my best. <laughs> the best thing for creators not, is, like, the exclusive enough. parties. Take it up a notch. For, for VidCon, there's, like, crazy exclusive creator parties, and yeah. uh, that that's cool. Like, I got drunk with a bunch of creators when I went to VidCon. Like, there was an exclusive uh, party in the Hilton where the creators were, like, staying, and it was covered, surrounded by security. Uh, so that was the greatest part. And it was just, like, everyone was on the bottom floor, like, totally trashed. Like, all every name you can possibly think of was there, just totally trashed. And at one point, we got drunk and tried to climb up on the roof. It was just I was I was a mess, dude. I did not belong there, uh, and I, I I mean I might have been twenty two, so I shouldn't have been around who I was around. And we were totally trash trying to get up on the roof and got kicked out by security. So that wasn't great. But those are the only thing that's worth. I th I feel like that's the real reason creators go. Either they're paid, some of them are paid, 
or they get ticket sales for meet and greets or something, or it's just for a party. T- do you have you? Well, most Tandicon? of the big creators, they're not they're not paying their way to get there. I mean, like if I wanted no. to go to VidCon, I wouldn't have to pay to go there. I had half a dozen people say that they'd like you know pay for my room and pay for me yeah. to go down there. So it it's so so in some of them probably I'm sure the really big guys they're getting a paycheck because I mean even the people that showed up at Vlogger Fair like the first Vlogger Fair like Tyler Oakley and shit I mean those were paid appearances. Um, so it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, they are paid to be there, but it's because they, they draw in more ticket sales, right? They want to get as many creators there as possible because then their audiences are going to be more likely to want to buy a ticket, hoping that they'll get to meet them, right. you know? So it's, it's, it's just, it's just this whole business thing that they're, they're focused. Right. They're not focused on the community at all. It's, it's just a money-making thing, especially when you said Viacom owns it. It's like Viacom has no fucking interest in, they in no YouTube. Idea. They, have no they don't. Idea. Yeah. They, they, they have an interest in the, in the money they can make being side action for YouTube, basically. I mean, Viacom's the same company that almost killed YouTube five years ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, no. Almost pretty much everybody had to kill YouTube. If yeah. Google didn't buy YouTube, I'm fairly certain that YouTube would be under so much debt from numerous lawsuits and everything like that that they'd, they'd be severely crippled if not And they're not, not a public company. They might be. We don't know. We don't know how much damage <laughs> is done. Well, this is the thing is, like, I don't think that the monetary status of a company is any indication of them staying or dying. And the reason I say that is because Netflix... Is like was it like twenty billion dollars in debt? It's ridiculous, weird number, right? Like, and I'm like, wait a second, how how are they funding more shows, and why are new shows showing up like every day on the platform when they're twenty, you know, bees in debt? That makes no sense to me. Because the investors aren't out of debt yet. Right, right. (laughs) The investors are like all in. It's it's kind of it's kind of like the whole uh, scenario with. uh, with with our with our Lord Voldemort leader that we have here, where it's like he's in so many people's pockets, they can't write him off, right? They got to get their money back at some point. So they're just trying to work an angle on everything they can until they get paid back. And I feel like Netflix just has so many investors that are like, if it dies, they all lose their investment. So they're all just like sitting there going, we'll just pump a little more in, pump a little more in. Come I on. would it's just like a love machine. to know, like, when's the time they pull the trigger on the whole making money part? Because they're it's <laughs> massive. Netflix is Netflix is totally massive. They're constantly growing in terms yeah. of user base and subscriptions. It's crazy. Like they're they're about I forget who they're about to surpass. Like some some crazy like I think Comcast they're about to pass them. Uh, there are but they haven't made their first dollar yet on the internet. Like Barna and Netflix is the number one bandwidth consumer on the internet, including porn. Like any number any one porn site that is. Yeah, <laughs> uh, collectively all, all, all porn together has got them beat by ninety nine point nine percent. But I'm <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, because and it's just like I just wonder when they're gonna pull the trigger and be like, okay, we should probably make some money this year. And I wonder how they're gonna do it. Well, that's the funny thing that I don't understand. Is it's like, what do they charge for a month for Netflix? Was like twelve bucks an hour or something like that? It's not a lot. It goes I up by a dollar so almost every year. Yeah, I mean, yeah, every year it goes like up by a dollar, but it's like right they there. would literally become profitable overnight if they just doubled the cost of a subscription. And even if they did, everybody would bitch about it. But how many people do you think they'd, they'd lose compared to people that pay sixty or eighty bucks for the same thing to get a cable package? Yeah, right. I mean, They're that's not, probably like, their plan. They're, they're probably just going to ride this out until in twenty twenty five. It's fucking sixty bucks for <laughs> Netflix. A dollar oh, a year, yeah. Pretty soon, it's four hundred dollars a month. Like you know, when there's flying cars and shit. <laughs> what are you gonna do? You're trapped now. They're gonna they're gonna sign people for like uh, six months at a time for a subscription. Yep. Just to they're losing them. ground though. Services like Hulu and Amazon Prime Video and stuff are really climbing quickly. Like with their yeah. with their exclusive episodes and stuff. Like, ha- really? have you seen Handmaid's Tale on Hulu? Shit, I'd pay no. just to watch that because it's such a fucking train wreck and it pisses me off, makes me want to throw my TV. <laughs> It's like I literally paid just for that one show. So if they keep doing and, and YouTube Red, right? Finally, YouTube okay, Red does something right. YouTube. They go create the Karate Kid. You know the new uh, what is it? Cobra hey, Kai. It's it's YouTube Premium now. Okay. Oh, oh YouTube. Right. Sorry, sorry. You know why they changed the name? You know why they did? Like everybody kept end up at porn sites and blaming YouTube. You know they oh, were. Oh right. <laughs> if you're dyslexic, That's you're crazy. like, I'm gonna go to YouTube to, to YouTube Red Tube, and it's like next thing you know, you're seeing all these pictures, and like that doesn't look like Tyler Oakley. <laughs> I mean, well, it maybe could, does. You know, <laughs> Maybe you find him on the same website. We don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to oh go look god. right now and see if I can find Tyler Oakley on Pornhub. Here. Oh god. <laughs> this one's demonetized, guys. <laughs> this I'm one's demonetized. on there somewhere. It didn't have a chance. So we included his name in the no. title. It never had a chance. True. Uh, Let's see here. Better? No, he isn't actually. Oh, no. Huh. Uh, that's a shame. Oh, he's going to be sad really if, if we tell. Yeah, no no Tyler Oakley. So, Tana Mojo, I don't know if you've heard of her. She made her own event called TanaCon, literally held it across the street from VidCon. And at the same time, too. And it was like really? her event was going to be for the creators that were getting excluded from VidCon. It was like, stick it to the man. Like, this is the real creators, this is the real audience, not just some fucking like uh, 
like filtered out thing that VidCon is putting on for children. Uh, and it did really well. Like she expected like to sell 5,000 tickets. Yesterday, there was 20,000 people waiting outside to get in and they shut it down. Security oh. shut it down because they didn't have enough space in the venue. They didn't expect to sell 20,000. And I think VidCon expected to sell 30,000. So it was like right up there with VidCon. And they had 30 creators there that, that like, it was like Shane Dawson, like major creators that uh, agreed to be at TanaCon. Oh. And there was an issue where those creators tried to like also go to VidCon and meet fans there. And if, if if any creators, YouTube creators, walked in with a TanaCon bracelet on, they would cut their VidCon bracelet off and ban them from VidCon. Wow. Yeah. What in the fuck? I would, you know what? I'd publicize the shit out of that if I was any one of those creators. Yep. Or any, uh, any, anything. I'd go, I'd go take that to social media and let VidCon get barbecued for it. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's just like... It's going to be a creator. It's going to be somebody within the industry that is going to dethrone VidCon, and that and it sucks because Viacom just, you know, bought this and put all this money in it. They bought it from uh, Hank and John Green, who are YouTubers, and that's when VidCon VidCon used to be good. Uh, now it's not, and uh, VidCon's going to lose on this one, take a big L because a creator. I think Philip DeFranco is working on his own event. A lot of YouTubers are doing their own event. Linus does one. Rooster Teeth does one. Yeah. Stacy Roy has one. She's she, she's one of the smaller streamers that has really good production value. She's actually doing her own convention in Las Vegas this year. Well, so, I think we need JerryCon. What? JerryCon. JerryCon. Yeah, do, we, do we need Bar- Barnacon? Don't I have to re- release a couple videos Barnacon. first before I do that? Nah. Pick one. Just, it'll be one a big comeback. Video. That's it. There it'll just go. be a bunch of old people that show up and be like, I remember your video that you did in your room and you left Microsoft <laughs> remember, that, remember that one time you got laid off of Microsoft? That was a good time. I liked your logo. It had all that Nintendo music in it and stuff till it got deleted. <laughs> hey, you guys want to hear a joke here? Ah, oh, there we go. Dude, that's not... What? That was... What? That... Did it do over? Hold on. Oh, there we go. There's the rest. <laughs> okay, that sounded like a normal fart. The first one didn't. The first one, I think that wow. the butt cheek tension was a little too tight, I think is what happened there. The leather chair did I, you I, no I favors. Relaxed. That sounds relax. like the sound a body makes when it dies and it releases everything. <laughs> Well, I did the, die the a little inside. Rattle. It does smell like death right now. I Woo! bet it's. I bet it smells oh, like. Oh my god! Oh, good thing I got a fan flowing under my desk because that would have choked me. That like is bad. the first. Re- that is the first fart in, on Recycle Bin. You you've done it. You know, I just I yep. just I figured the show's called Recycle Bin. It's one step off from a garbage can, which is one step off from a toilet. So I figured I'd you know. Yeah, close enough. Can really, we make the garbage can now. And just it's all yeah. fart jokes. <laughs> for well, two hours. Okay, so there we go. We'll just we'll just na- well the title of this episode can be the garbage can. Hey, I was just kid. letting letting or your demographic know since they're since they're elderly that it's okay to fart on camera. It is okay. Yeah, it is a natural bodily function. But like that wasn't Everybody. a fart. That's why I think we're more concerned than like embarrassed. <laughs> hey, okay, yeah, fine. A hemorrhoid might have popped out on that, but other than that, it was it was pretty much a fart. It was it mostly was a, a fart. little poop nugget. There, there might be Tucker like I might in? have to wipe after the show, but it, it's oh okay. I'll be fine. That's another I'm a thing I love. You don't give a fuck. Like you're just 24 seven in pajama pants. <laughs> Tom, right now, right? <laughs> I don't care. I wouldn't be wearing a shirt right now if I didn't have to. You don't. I mean, no one said you had to. What platform are we on? Uh, YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> oh, on YouTube, you can do anything. Like on YouTube, I could probably just threaten your life and pull out bat knife and be yeah. like, "I'll cut you. I'll cut you both." You know, they'd be fine with that. I'll oh. send them that clip, and they'll be like, "Well, did did you block them?" You gotta block him. Oh, he there it is. He'd be like, he'd be like, That's not against our terms of service because uh, he didn't threaten you using your full legal name and social security number. <laughs> yeah. And it won't even be a block. It's just a shadow ban. So you didn't even know. It is. I want you yeah, to fucking what, know that I hate you. There you go. Yeah, that's it. I hate that whole mentality of it says block. The verbiage is block. Oh, no, no. They changed it. Now it's hide co- hide comment from channel hide. or whatever. And then you do or that. And, all it, and everybody still yeah. sees it, right? Everybody else still sees it. Yeah. Damn it, I want to... I mean, I think you can delete, though, can't you? Or is that still shadow? Like, if you delete a comment, does everybody you, you else can, still see it? You can remove it, but if you hit, like, hide user from channel, you don't see it anymore, so you can't delete it. <laughs> God damn yeah. it, YouTube. Hide user from channel well, means just, you just don't want to see it anymore, but everyone else will. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I can't say I hate Google, because they probably have some bot listening to your video right now, and it's like, okay, take his SEO away from his channel. I hope so. Nobody I mean, what, 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 whatever. <laughs> whatever. It's... No, I always moved to Twitch. Come on over to Twitch. We're having a really good week on YouTube right now. I mean, it's gradually getting better. Like it, it's tiring because we've committed to like, 
literally, I think for 20 days in a row, we published a video every single day. And it's That's just insane. Like, like, you're going to burn out if you do that. It's happening. My asshole is turning inside out. Yep. There was but a time also, where I do three videos worth. a day of my, my strongest. Three videos a day. And I did that for like two wow. weeks. And I was like, I fucking hate my life. And I want to die. Fucking what? What were the videos? They were literally just tiny little tech reviews of everything that I had. If I did anything, if I was sitting on the computer and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to write a script to fucking like move my MP3s from one folder to another. I'd just be like, fuck it. I'm going to make a video. Screen cap that shit. <laughs> edit it like 20 minutes. Upload it. And I'm recording oh, the other God. video while it's uploaded. Uh, well, well, you know what we should do, Brian? We should... What? So we do three stories in an episode. No. We should split it up into three videos. One story per video. We're not good mythical morning during the day. Morning. Oh yeah, I, yeah. We're gonna do no. it. No. Yeah. You know, just do two and a half minute oh, videos, God. and then like at the end of every video, be like, "Go watch our next video if you want to see yeah. how the story ends." And then don't show how the story ends in that next. And video. then go just to our, subscribe with. to our second channel <laughs> to see the behind the scenes. I call that oh, the Game God. of Thrones. You know how Game of Thrones did that? Like, I don't know if they're still doing that, but I remember like in some of the seasons, they'd be like, they'd show the clips from like what you'd think would be the next show. And then the next yeah. show would end with leading into that. So it was, they were really showing you clips from like yeah. two shows in the future. And oh, that yeah. pissed me off so bad when they do that. I'd be like, God damn it. I went the whole week to see that dragon get killed. Well, we only got six more episodes, Jerry, and then it's gone. It's gone. Why? Oh, Game see, of Thrones. Season, yeah. This is the last season. Story's over. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, yeah. I what started what watching the fuck the was that about? What was that? That was weird. Like, what's what? I got my own effects. Yeah, <laughs> only for Jerry. Hang on. This will, we'll do. We'll do this for him. Hang on. Here, I'm do doing it? my own zoom. Oh. Look. There you go. Look at that. Oh, oh, my own zoom. Oh. So, how far can someone we go? Get you out, oh God. Oh, oh. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Guys, it's not the post only show the yet. <laughs> only the best. Yeah, only the best. Uh, so yeah, we'll fuck. We'll go into the post show. Uh, this is longer, but I liked it. Uh, we'll go into the post show. Yeah. If you guys want to ask questions for the post show, ask. Nothing is off limits in the post show because it doesn't actually get posted after the fact. So anything you want to ask Jerry, uh, he's it's free to go. And we charge yeah, five yeah, cents maybe, per yeah. question. I'll answer just about five cents per question. Yeah, five cents per question, and YouTube takes half of that. Uh, that's it. If you want to listen to the rest of the show, uh, if you if you're new here, go ahead subscribe. If you heard this on iTunes, give us a rating and review. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube. You want to see my stupid face? You can go listen on your favorite podcast client. Uh, other than that, I'm sorry you watched this or listened to this. Jerry, where can people <laughs> find you? You can find me at barnard.com or barnacles1, if you can figure out how to spell that, <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> Why <laughs> is search it for one? Nerdgasm. You probably spell Why Nerdgasm. One? Why is it Barnacles 1? Why is it 1? Because I own the Barnacles channel, and then I fucked it up really bad, and then I created Barnacles <laughs> 1, and that was the channel that succeeded, and then I was like, fuck <laughs> it. I'm not going to mess with it. <laughs> okay, whatever. And you can't change it? No, I'm a branding nightmare, dude. I literally can't change it because I am camped on my own channel. And if I delete that channel, somebody else will immediately grab it. Oh, my God. Well, All right. So I literally That's have to true. camp myself. It's, Brian, it's where shameful. can people find you since uh, you're, you're going off and uh, you're leaving me? You could find me um, at the, uh, the van down by the river. Okay. I'll be living there. If anyone needs an editor, uh, he's quitting. Actually, madison.com forward slash Brian. <laughs> <laughs> slash Brian. There you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah don't URL. tell the fiance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I won't, I won't, dude. It's actually Madison. Remember, their logo's like, shh. So I won't. <laughs> mm -hmm, exactly. <laughs> Discretion is implied. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys.